hello we are back here again okay this time today i am going to show you in this video how to use the store procedure in the crystal reports okay this time i am going to use the microsoft sql server the reason is i am going to show you the store procedure and i am going to show how to use it in the micro with the microsoft sql server once you have learned to use it with the microsoft sql server you can use it with the oracle or any other relational database okay so let's start see i already opened the database as such this microsoft sql is with the sql server management studio is open and what i am going to do is show you the pubs database pubs database is a very old database before sql server microsoft sql server and sap is merged the pubs database has been in both of the database as well as in the sap base as well as in the microsoft sql server okay now this is a very old database and most of you who have worked on the servers or microsoft sql or sabis must be familiar with it okay and let me go go to the show you the there are tables i will not go into the details okay tables but right now i'm going to deal with the stored procedure so i'm not going to select any tables i'm going to go to programmability okay and there is a stored procedure okay Here is the stored procedure. I will show it to you how the stored procedure is. Okay, this is the stored procedure. B royalty two. I will show you what the code is. Okay, I am going to select it to show you in the new query. You know what the exactly the actually the code of the this stored procedure is. Of course, you should know how to write a stored procedure before you want to put a stored procedure in the crystal report, or somebody else should have written it for you. Okay. Okay, here is the crystal. Here is a, in the stored procedure for the crystal report. Create procedure DBO by royalty two at percentage. At percentage, this is the parameter that would be it be taking. What the percentage? Int is the variable. That is the type of the parameter. And as you say, as select AU ID is only selects the author ID only from the title author. Where the title dot royalty per greater than at percentage. This at the percentage is coming from the up. It's coming down. Okay, this will be passed as a parameter from the up to the down, as you can see it. And that's it. And now I'm going to show you how to sh actually put it in the crystal report. It's very simple once you understand. Okay, let's start the crystal report here. We select new from the standard report. Once you have selected a standard new, go to the create new connection. We have already created. I have already connected created connection. It's above database. That is there in the SQL server. Okay. Let's say next. I am going to use a trusted connection, and that gives me a finish. And let's see. Here is the above database. The DVO and a stored procedure, and there we go. I'm going to push this thing around in the select tables, and I'm going to put the percentage as 50. Okay, and select okay, and it should show me. Okay, here is again asking me the for the filters and field to display. Yes, here it is. Field has to be displayed. Next, no grouping has to be done. No filtering has to be done. Okay, and that's it. and it should show me the records for the author id that is greater than who has a royalty who, who has a royalty greater than 50 now suppose if i wanted to check the for the para change the parameter value so i should go to the reports go to the refresh report data or press f5 and prompt for a new parameter value click the radio button for that thing okay and this time i'm going to select for the 100 okay now there we are and that's how we are going to get for the authors who have royalty greater than 100 or equal to 100 okay now this stored procedure is very simple it has only one field and one parameter value in reality the situation is never going to be so simple this is just for explanation in the reality there would be multiple fields multiple parameter value that has to be passed it is similar to the filtering 
but suppose if the organization already knows what it wants to filter and what it wants to actually show up in the report so they must have already written a stored procedure and you may have only to use it and that's it that's very simple now suppose i am going to take one last chance first for actually showing you the report suppose if you wanted again to the go to the p p to the authors with the royalty greater than equals to 500 okay this is how you do it again you will see the report value changes author they are more author listed okay that's it it's very simple you can always write it down how to create a simple stored procedure report only more variables more parameters more fields that's all same formatting everything same that's it that's simple and we are done with it